I'm going to be playing Serena for you today. It's like a short horror point and click, but it's more horror as in the atmosphere is eerie and tense and dark. You probably know by now that I really like that kind of stuff. I like the fact that it's been a collaborative effort between like fans and designers of adventure games. Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Okay. So this is interesting, so I'm, I'm like right in the game. Right there. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could have another look. Uh, okay. Oh, but her face is missing. What did you do with her face? Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? Okay, so I'm guessing, just just a random guess here, I'm guessing that this is either he killed her or he has like some form of dementia. Should be very sad. Vanishing town. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. The things that life keep us tired. Been much poorer without all this. Zombie space dinosaurs from the deep <laughs> ate my family. <laughs> oh my god, I want to read that so bad. That's creepy. Hello? That's creepy. Why is the music stopped? I don't like things in there. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? Sorry. Let's have a look at this picture. Did they have kids? I used to get washed in the sink, apparently, when I was a little baby. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Well, it's a trunk. Or something and else. And it's locked. That is probably the main reason. You're just thinking about treasure, right? Everyone knows there's treasure in trunks. Especially locked trunks. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. I doubt that. Everyone has their flaws, unfortunately. Even your lovely Serena. Ooh, what's she this? She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. She is fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard, but I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. I miss her so much. It's okay. How is it possible that I can't it's remember okay. her face? It's okay. We'll get there in the end. Come on. Come on. We'll get there. It looks quite Our quaint and cozy. The world. A place of warmth and passion. Ooh, passion. Let's uh, go over this side. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. Why is that unnatural? If you're out in the woods, surely calm is normal, right? Birds and woods and trees and nature, Hers. one with nature. I used it too when shaving. Oh, right, yes, of course you There's can. a strand of blonde hair in the comb. She was blonde. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight. Sharing the warmth. Sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. What? 
So, um, so were they just like a one night standy thing? Look around some more. I have to remember her face. Oh, I don't know. I'm so confused. Oh, look, you have some money. Money, money, money. Oh, keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. Oh. Not for the chest. Darn. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. So, you're like a warrior or you're, you're an angry guy? Commune Evidence. Serena's favorite perfume. Commune Evidence. I don't have a favorite perfume. Is that, is that weird for a girl? Oh well. Oh! Shows you her body art. All of it. He, hey, he, he shouldn't be being this lesbian goats. <laughs> okay, he can read that bit. That's that's funny. She was special. Contradictory. Is that her? She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. Ooh. He's a very lucky man. So he doesn't say anything about this really weird painting. And the other one freaks me out so much. Let's have a look at that one again. Creepy that is. Why would you have that? If you're in a cabin in the woods, you don't want to see that on the wall and then go outside and uh, I would freak out. I would be imagining. Come sit with me. I want to talk and cuddle. Okay. I am kind of on edge because I heard that there was one one part here. I don't know where. It's probably at the end. I should it? probably but eat. I heard that there is. Can't one remember part the last time I ate. That is. Yeah, I don't feel hungry. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not very good with that. And it's just so quiet in this cabin. Am I just I've supposed to click on everything? I've told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. That just sounded, like, scary. That didn't... Her presence is magical already. <laughs> yes. Blonde hair like... Ooh. Sun rays. I'm remembering. Boy. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Mm. 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 She also had a brush. Ah, and I can't scared. see it anywhere. How do I say any? And then you toppled oh. us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. I okay, guess so I'm a total idiot and didn't realize that there was more to that message, but I'm glad I know it now. Okay. If I could only remember what happened. What happened? I can't help these random associations. It's always been that way. I, I look at a pepper shaker and think of a Beatles song. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, however long ago that Oh, was, you remember her face! I never needed to Look! Refer. It's her face! This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. Yeah. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love... We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. So you've been together for quite My a while. Love. We don't have a lot of photos okay. of ourselves as a couple, so well, well, this one well. is quite important. Okay. There's music! That's a good thing. Now I can open the chest. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories?
turning to dust. I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. Okay. Outside, perhaps? Why? I might just as well stay here. But the outside is calling you. Can you not hear it? It's like, come outside. I wonder if this window gets so gunked up. She's crying. There's crying. Open your closet. I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this home. Guess I can't shake off- Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. <coughs> I should really stay. I'm so tired anyway. There didn't seem to be much reason to keep it clean. Just overgrown bushes outside, brambles, and thistles. No, 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 please don't cry because it scares me. Oh, see, that's just the worst when the music stops playing and it just goes back to being silent again after she cries. I really hate that picture. I'm, I think I'm gonna have nightmares just from that picture. Why am I so scared? This isn't even supposed to be like a terrifying game. I prefer the darkness inside right now. Yeah, but I wouldn't. Do you ever think of that? Do you ever think of the player? No, you don't. Can you please what open this? What once now? gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. But why? Why are you so sad? Big enough so for a sad? lifetime of mementos. Mementos that you won't let me see. So what is the point, eh? What is the point? That ticking. It never stops. Well, no, because it's a clock. I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? I hope you did. But how did I miss everything getting dinkier, more worn? We should have renewed our life somehow, but money was always so tight. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. Okay. Take your pills, please. She always reminded me to take these. I never asked her to. She just did it. I've been so immature about these. Even resorted to the old pill under the tongue trick more than a few times. Help me! It better. It's getting darker in it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sunlight. Bird song. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. <laughs> no chance of anything. Oh no, he's getting angry as the day goes on. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry even. Shh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, you're okay. Sit down, we need to talk. Oh. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. All of this... These... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. You've got to remember. I'm upset to even think straight. you got to find out where she is. So no, much. you don't hate her. This is where we had that talk. Damn. I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Yeah, he got your letter. Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. Too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. You don't hate her. I don't like... He's just getting really angry now. And it's... It's not good. It's obviously about their relationship just breaking down, right? Because nobody's perfect. I just tell him this at the beginning. Oh! It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. What are they called again? Ah, what are they called again? Ah, oh, I can't remember, but it's cool. It's I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, that used to be us. 
We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be, lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. S. She's gone. Now I remember. It was me all the time. I lost her, and it's all my fault. I'm sure it's not your fault. It's like, not all A your shrine fault. to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them! I'm sure she's probably taken them with Everything her. she wore, just to lure me in. Hey, you just said back there that it was your fault. No, wait, I told you that it wasn't your fault. Okay, uh, let you have Not that one. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire! Oh, what is heck? wrong with me? I'm too upset to even think straight. <laughs> Look at your books. Oh my. Oh, it's just you walking. Ah! Oh. Ugh! I don't know why I'm so on edge. She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. No, oh, I'm sure she. Oh. I hate her so much. I don't much. know who I'm trying to raise her with him. Okay, let's be angry together. Girl, we hate it's her so much. Finally sinking in. She's not coming back. I don't think Nothing so. in this cabin will ever change again unless it's by my hand. I hate her all of this these Oh, what was that? I, what, what did I just They're pick all up? Lies. And her why jewelry did I... box. Oh. What is it doing here? Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Well, you broke up, oh, didn't you? Please, no. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? She's gone. She's on a train. Oh. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. Oh, was my first guess right? Do you think I so? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Can you please open this now? I would be very happy. Yay! What is it? Just is it literally just clothes? I thought it was gonna be like <gasps> a dead body! Is it gonna be a dead body? It is a dead body! Oh my god, I bloody knew it! Is it gonna be a jump scare? No. <sighs> no! This isn't happening! 
My God. What is this? It can't. It isn't. How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? Looks like it has four sets of teeth. I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Yes, you did. Why have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Why did it sound like a fart? Oh! Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Is he a ghost? Is that his body? Did she kill him? I take it all back. You're, you're lovely. Go out. Oh shit. We forgot your fuck. It was so stupid to leave. Why did it. you do that? Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. <laughs> no. Not like this. Please. Oh. That's his body. Please. That's his body. No. She's killing him. Is that his body in the wardrobe? Am I right? Why? It won't even tell me! Oh my god. Oh, that was so... That was so crazy! That was so good! I love games like that. I absolutely love games like that. I thought there was going to be a jump scare, but there wasn't, which is good, because I was kind of scared that there was going to be a jump scare, but I just love that you have to think about it, think about the story the whole time, and you think that he's killed her, but in the end, she's burning the evidence. She obviously killed him. He's a ghost, right? Like, yeah. Definitely. She killed him, and she's religious. Oh my god. Right, anyway, I will put this link in the description below so you can have a play. It's totally free and it's let me know how you reacted to this, what you thought of this. I thought it was really creative, really imaginative, really tense and really good. Hope you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up if you did and have a lovely day or evening. Bye! Ah, no. ah. Oh.